what the fuck were you thinking? Excuse me? I don't feel like arguing about it, but I feel like I at least had a right to know before everybody else. Then don't. So you seriously thought this would be cool? You're making a big deal out of nothing. A kid isn't fucking nothing, Mariah. You left me with no choice at all. What is there to decide on? We need to discuss our options. Have you been to the doctor? Where is this coming from? You love me, right? Loving you has nothing to do with if I'm ready to have a kid or not. You're moving too fast. We haven't even decided on if we're having it yet. You're telling the whole world? I don't see what the big secret is. So what if I told some of my friends we're expecting a baby, Big D? Those aren't your friends. Those are fucking strangers that watch your every move because for one moment, they don't have to think about how shitty their lives are. We haven't even decided yet. You're telling the whole world? No. You haven't decided yet. I'm fine. So I don't have a say then? Bring on the extra dramatic. Alright then. You laid there by yourself and made it yourself, right? Or maybe your followers did. Now you're going too far. You know what? I'll just walk home. on the wrong foot. We're not. It's not that I don't trust my relationship. I'm just not stupid. Why do you assume this? It's not an assumption. It's a given fact. Bryce and I, we've been through hell over the years. And if he thinks a few months of good behavior is just going to erase all the crap that he's put me through, it's not gonna happen. But isn't a relationship built on trust? Why keep putting yourself in a situation where you have to constantly monitor it? Because I've earned the best version of him. I've invested all of me into him. And there's just no way that I'm gonna allow Becky to get the man that I built. I've been embarrassed, disrespected, heartbroken, all by this man. He knows this is the final straw. Well, what makes this time different? Because I said it is. Didn't you say that the first time and the fifth time? Have you ever considered just leaving? I have. What makes you stay even after he hurts you? My loyalty and love for him for starters. There isn't anything that I wouldn't do for him. Do you think he knows that? <laughs> he better. A word of advice. Love is not sacrificing yourself and allowing someone to take all of you. Pretty soon, you won't have enough for yourself. I think it's a little too late for that. Don't you think it's time you start meaning what you say? This is the last time, right? Yeah. Maybe I'm expecting too much. No, you're not expecting enough. Here you go. No, don't describe my point. You're gonna hear me out. You're so stuck on what Bryce could be that you don't even see what a waste of time he is. But that's not really fair to say because we've been through so much. No, girl. You've been through a lot and he's put you there over and over again. You need to wake up. Girl, come here. I'm so sorry. You good? Okay, let's go. Upstairs. What are your plans? 
Simple. We'll graduate, get great jobs, and get married. Is that your plan or the both of yours? It's our plan. I just have to remind him of that sometimes. Are you sure that both of you want the same things? Are you trying to say I don't know what's good for my man? Not at all. I'm just curious to what plans you guys have outside of each other. <laughs> That's a dumb question. There's no outside of each other. It's me and him, and frankly, that's all that matters. What, you don't trust me? Of course I do, I just question your sense of direction. Oh, that kind of hurt coming from you, though. Yeah, I bet you're so broken up about it. <coughs> you can't even see my face right now. I can't fucking see anything. All right, look, just wait right here, all right? Wait. Babe, I really can't take this. I feel like something's gonna come and hit me in the face. Nothing's gonna hit you in the face. You'll be fine. Nope, I'm taking this off right now. No, wait, wait, wait. Aw, baby shouldn't have. Man, you done messed up the whole surprise. I'm sorry. You know how I feel about surprises. Yeah, we all know how you feel about surprises. See, you act like you don't like it, but once it's over, love it. You have a point? <laughs> but no, nah, um... Listen, I really want to just sit here and take this time out to let you know I'm sorry for the other day. You know, I didn't mean that or that. Oh, you're referring to that whole leaving me and finding someone else comment? <laughs> uh, <laughs> actually, I was talking about, uh, you know, Yasiel, you know, him <laughs> leaving that stuff in the car. <laughs> stuff? Not, no, not stuff. A gun. I don't trust anyone with David's safety. The safest place for him is clearly with me. Yasiel is trouble, and I'm just worried he's gonna get David into something he can't talk himself out of. Oh boy, he's going down. Oh, he's going down, boy. Say what? How fucking dare you oh, talk to my no, sister no, I'm not like doing that? Doing this shit with you today? No, I want to know, Josh. Like, what goes on between your sister and me? That's our business. That shit does not concern you. My sister is my fucking business. Then go talk to your sister. I already did, and she told me everything. I'm sure she said a lot of shit. That'll make it true. And how could you do that to her? How could you look my sister in the face and tell her all of those lies? Telling her that you love her after knowing everything she's what been through? What the fuck? You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yes, I do. Look, Lachey, you don't know what's going on. What the hell are you talking about? Her panic attacks. Who the fuck do you think she's calling for those? That's me. Every meltdown she's had, I'm the one that talks her off that ledge. Where the fuck have you been? Did she, did she even tell you about her suicide? Oh. I thought, all right? You don't know what's going on. You don't know what this has been like for me. I can't sleep. You think you were the only one? You think you were the only one my sister trusted? My sister trusted you. She let you in on everything and you made her regret it. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Look, I loved your sister. I can't love her more than she loves herself. You're a coward, that's what it I'm is. I'm exhausted. You don't know what this is like. I know enough. I know enough about you and Shayla to know that you really made her feel like you cared about her. When really, you just cared about yourself. Admit it, Josh. I don't know what the fuck this is, alright? You know what? If that's how it's gotta be, then fine. Alright, I'm done. Then you stay the hell away from my sister. You tell your sister to stay the fuck away from me. Uh, let's go! To be. What's up? What's your name? Hi, I'm Remy. Hey, what's your name? I said let's 
Let's go! We're coming! Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. Can I call you sometime? Maybe. Next time. So is this shit over or can I go home? Why did you guys break up? Honestly, I just couldn't take it anymore. I love Shayla, I really do, but things have gotten really crazy. And I just can't keep a relationship through it. What are some of the things she's doing? She's really suicidal. To the point where she's threatening me. And last time she's at my place, she locked herself in the bathroom because I didn't unlock my phone. Why didn't you unlock it for her? What? Because she's supposed to trust me. I'm always with her. I'm always there for her, always supporting her. But she doesn't trust me anymore? Like, what can what, what do I gotta do? Why why is everybody just assume that a man can't do good? That doesn't seem too crazy to me. Honestly, it wasn't. But she threatened to kill herself by jumping out the window. So I... What happened next? I gave her my password. She went through the phone. She didn't find anything though because there was nothing to find. So... <laughs> Did she apologize? No. Instead she accused me of deleting the evidence. She threw my fucking phone at my face. I couldn't... I couldn't take it after that. Have you done anything to make her think you're cheating on her? No. No. I would never do that. I wasn't raised like that. I was raised to respect a woman, be there for her, love her. Just one. That's it. Then who's making sure you're happy? <laughs> I don't know. Does it always look like this in here? Unfortunately. <laughs> oh, what's going on? Hey, you tell me. Uh, what are you doing here? I'm moving home. What? Your brother didn't tell me. Let me tell you what. That your sister's in town? I figured you found that eventually. Anyways, this is my friend Mariah. Hi, everyone. What's up? Uh, hold up. I bring somebody new home, you don't harass them. What's wrong? Listen, first of all, I don't harass anybody. Alright? I mean, you're just jealous because all of your friends have a thing for me. And, um... Second of all, I mean, I know about Mariah from school, man. We had a couple of classes together. Yeah, mostly on Tuesdays. Cool! Now that we all know each other, you guys come to the party? Yeah. yeah. Uh, no. No, there will not be a party or any in the future, man. Why? For real? Man, I really needed that money. Did you get Dave his text? Yeah, I did, but that, that was before I got that notice on the door. What notice? This noise. There was a noise complaint filed, man. One more party and we're out. I mean, I was gonna get all dressed up hoping this party was going on tonight. We can have it at my place. Wait, what? what? Yeah. No, girl, you do not have to do that. Yeah, for real. I live with my mom and dad. <laughs> anyway, my parents are out of town on business for the weekend, so I have the place to myself. Are you sure? Yeah, for real. I've never had a party before, and I hear you guys throw the best ones. Yeah, dude. That's facts, bro. I mean, I can send out texts and let everybody know the location changed. Are you sure about this? She doesn't stay on campus. You think her people are cool? Dude, what choice do we have? I mean, if we throw this party here, we're gonna get kicked out, right? And if we don't throw this party, you're not gonna get your car of the rain, and we're gonna get kicked out anyways. I mean, listen, man. You need to chill, alright? I mean, what's the worst thing that can happen? I can think of a thousand things that could go wrong. Oh uh, yeah? Well, while you pounding on that, I'm gonna go get ready for our party. Alright, so, since we're having this party at your place, I'm assuming there are rules. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna throw the party there and take all the money from it. Uh-uh. Hi, Lakota here. I'll be representing Miss Mariah. She wants 50% of the profits. <laughs> Yo, 50%? Mm -hmm. You do realize I can throw this party on my own or find someone else to throw it for me, right? Okay, fine. So what do you think is fair? I mean, we can do 20%. <laughs> Call your friends in. <laughs> 30% and I can go half on the snacks. <sighs> Alright, guess you got yourself a deal. Cool. <sighs> hey. 
Hey guys, I'm gonna head out. Where are you going? I'm gonna go home and get changed. I'll meet up with you guys later. Sounds good to me. I already sent my invitations. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be out too. I gotta head up to the store for some supplies, so I'll see you later. Bet, but don't forget the good stuff this time. Yeah, whatever. Who taught you how to clean? <laughs> you got jokes. Always. Are you still wild, I see? I was never wild, just more direct than you're used to. Oh, is that what we calling it now? Directness. Do not start with me. Not with the day I had today. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I wish I would have booked two seats. My flight was completely packed, and on top of that, my interviewer took forever. Yeah, I hate when that happens. You? My nose is still burning from that funky dude sitting next to me on, on the plane. And on top of that, this lady had the nerve to bring her sick-ass baby on the plane. My ears are still ringing. Damn. Well, that sucks. I don't know when Terry's going to be back, but you're welcome to chill in his room. Did he clean the sheets? Don't know about all that. You guys are so disgusting. Um, I'm just going to leave my stuff here. I got plans. You just got here, and you already have plans with Yasiel? Can you not be in my business? You still haven't told your brother yet. I was going to, but then I got accepted at UCI, we broke up, so I was like, what's the point? I would agree if I didn't know you almost gave up UCI for him. That's not true. Let's not start lying to each other. We both know that you were. You were going to give up everything for him. And for what? He doesn't have anything going for him. He's always in some kind of trouble. I just don't want you to do something stupid for him. No, fuck that. You're just like Terry. You think you know everything, but you know nothing. I wasn't giving up my future for Yasiel. I was prolonging my exit for Terry. This dude does not take life seriously. He thinks life is a game. All he wants to do is party. And where's that gotten him? He has debt my parents are paying off, his GPA is barely making it, he's living here with his bum ass friends. Damn, it's like that. You know what? How about you worry about what you got going on, instead of worrying about what you think is going on with me. Tell Terry I'll be back. Hey, what the fuck are you doing here? Didn't make it seem like I was looking for you? <laughs> That's exactly what it seems like. <sighs> Sorry, sweetie. You're not that attractive to stuff. Oh, so you were. No, you dummy. It was really just one of those, I don't know, freaky situations. Oh. I, I know how freaky you are. Can you not touch me? Why are you acting like that? <laughs> how do you expect me to act? It was really just one of those one-time things that'll never happen again, right? What? Who said it'll never happen again? I mean, for all I know, I'm not a fortune teller. Just cut the crap, Terry, okay? What? We met online, had sex, and you never responded to my texts or called me, and now you want to act like nothing happened? Look, you need to chill. Yeah, and you need to step away. Alright, listen, listen. I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean to post you. You know, you were just talking about how you and your boyfriend were called and you were looking for a relationship. I mean, I wasn't ready for anything like that. Actually, we made up, and besides, you said you even had a chance. <laughs> what? I mean, look at me. You're an ass. I guess I should be thanking you for helping me dodge the biggest bullet in my life. You. Well, consider this feeling mutual then. Yeah, whatever. Listen, I'm not trying to make this hard for either of us. And, you know, the last thing I need is you. I'm uh, just mad at my party for no reason. So, can we just pretend to be strangers? <laughs> Agreed. Uh, I just have one condition. Can we not tell your sister? I mean, she's really cool, and I don't want to make things all awkward. All right, cool. I got you. Okay, cool. I'll see you later, stranger. Bye. Bye.